Ay, que no, el niño es verdad, muy feo. Like, yo, if, if I said that correctly, or you just fucking understood what I said, or get the idea. Yo, let me jump into this, man. Naruto Storm has its on and off days where you got good players, you got bad players, you got ank players. Like, they're usually all over the place for the most part, so right. Even on rank match. My nigga. Did Yuki Kono in here came up and got finger fucked by Asuna or some shit in the latest Sword Art chapter or some bullshit? I know she dead, she dead. Fuck you. You already know I got <laughs> But anyways, like, no, for all reals, like, this game last night I was playing out of my entire time playing this game, only just spending probably like 45 minutes to an hour. Compared to some longer times I invested in this game, the entire time was fucking AIDS. Like, it just lift my spirits up for a second, like, you know, like, I went on the game, I started doing decent, I even got a rank up. Best believe, motherfucker, at the end of the game, I almost lost that rank. As a matter of fact, my BP was depleted pretty damn low. Like, you don't even understand, I'm surprised I kept the rank. As a matter of fact, I was playing last night, the last match I played made me turn off my Xbox from Rage, got another disconnect frequency. That makes it, like, five. You know, that, that includes, like, the three ones they give you free, because I'm not going to lie, so many bullshit happens. One of my disconnection frequencies, though, actually happened because of the connection problem. And I logged on the game thinking that, like, you know, it wasn't going to count, and it did. I'm like, what the fuck? But I guess, in a rare instance, some legitimate, some legitimate disconnection frequencies are uh, possible, but that's besides the point. Like, that last game that I rage on, I made me turn off my Xbox because I was gonna lose a rank after so hard getting Yo, I can't stand it, bruh. Like, this game is just... Alright, I may be talking about just an instant from last night, but Jesus. It is just disgusting. They need to fix it by Storm 4, man. I don't give a shit. I, I feel like I don't even want to give trust to Storm 4 because like, I feel like it's still going to be bullshit, man. I think it's Storm 4. It's not even going to be like you take down the other person. I think it's going to be like a much longer fight because I remember seeing gameplay where like you take down a person, their teammates are going to replace. I don't know how that's going to work if they take damage when you call them out and your player hits them or whatever it is. I don't know. I haven't really been looking much at gameplay, but it looks like a game that I'm probably going to stress more than a revolution personally i'm just saying maybe i haven't looked up most of it but you know i think i'm kind of used to fighting the normal way i do and i don't want to fight like three extra characters man or two extra characters that's gonna take a long ass time oh shit but anyways let's move away from the aids of the game so anyways apparently Although this probably doesn't fucking matter, you probably be like, yo, why the fuck you talking about this? That's why you got no self, nigga. But, um, you know, I got some new neighbors, I believe, so, you know, I keep saying that a lot, you know, you know, you know, you know, daddy yankee, y'all. No, nah, but what's it called? <clears throat> um, the people upstairs, they moved out, and then quickly we got a new people. I don't even know anything about them, I haven't even seen them, I don't even know. And not that it matters, but I, I just hope things are still smoothly as it was, smoogly googly, as it was before. But, um, yeah, man, so I tried getting that Taken King from my friend, and I totally forgot. Destiny has, like, an in-game sensor or some shit like that. Like, when you go in the game, it verifies your content to make sure you actually legitimately purchase the game. So, even when I set my friend's Xbox to my, my own on uh, Xbox One, and I downloaded the, the update, the content, whatever it is, it wouldn't give it to me because, you know, I had to verify anything. And I don't know if there's any way to get around it. And if there is, I, I just hope. I don't know. And I don't have the money to, to spend to get the, the, the DLC. Personally, I think I really dropped out of Destiny in the sense that um, if I really cared for the game that much, I would have had the money ready or saved or I would have gone hard to get it. But I don't because, you know, after playing the two DLCs and shit, it doesn't take that much to reach the max. Man, they're talking about all these new weapons and this, uh, these new weapons and these raids and shit. But what happens when you obtain them all? At some point, there's an end point, and what's gonna happen? I think what I really drove me away from the game is that I don't know if this is Bungie's intention because 
because you know they're paired up with Activision, and Activision is usually the one that makes those money greedy decisions. Is that it's a pay to play game in a way, like you miss out on a lot of stuff and content. I don't even got the extra subclass if you don't have the Taken King. And I'm just like, are you are you fucking kidding me? They successfully got away with this too. You don't even understand. If you're a hardcore Bungie person, that's why. I'll be honest, I never was into Bungie. Um, Bungie. <laughs> Bungie. I never really liked Halo. I only got to play my friends. I tried playing the story. I tried playing uh, the multiplayer. The multiplayer is a bit fun, not gonna lie, but only with friends, not in the solo sense, not the campaign. My friend gave me Master Chief, a collection game, and it was amazing playing with my friends the custom games and the snipers, but other than that, playing by myself was pretty boring. I didn't like the campaigns. I gave it a try. I just can't get into Halo, and the, and that's the like pretty much all of Bungie's games. And then you got Destiny. I really enjoyed Destiny, but then when I, but the way they set it up with a pay-to-play, regardless if that was Bungie's idea or Activision who pushed for that, I don't like it. I I couldn't get into it, and I apologize. But just like, well, I can't really apologize for that. I just don't like Bungie games. Like if you don't like, you get off my dick. But <clears throat> I'm not crazy about it. That's the truth. And. I think I might end up selling the game later on, and I don't really give a fuck about what, like, people want to see, you know, if I don't like Destiny, I'm not going to upload the gameplay and be like, yo, this is my shit, get me more views and subscribers, nah, nigga, I like Naruto Storm, even though this shit makes me want to take my penis off and put it in a blender and then swallow that shit up in some drinkable form of cum, but, you know, like... I like playing the, the Naruto fighters, I like playing Call of Duty, and you best fucking believe when Fallout drops... I'm gonna do that too. There's a lot of gameplay of Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas from the past, so there's no point of me of really uh, going through a whole walkthrough or some shit of it. So I'm pretty sure you guys want to be there when I when I get the game and do some gameplay of it or whatever is when it comes out. And like, I don't really have any games on Xbox One. Like, it's just Titanfall, Battlefield 4, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, and if I would have had all this shit ready, you best believe I would have had Sunset Overdrive unlocked, but. You know, it's been over a year since the game's release, so... Fuck. And, um... Yeah, man. I got Borderlands. Everybody's seen a lot of Borderlands gameplay, and I'm not the best at it, so... I don't know if I'll ever do that, but... It's whatever. But I do like the... The only thing I got here is, like... The Call of Duty shit. I really love Modern Warfare 2. CSGO is something I want to upload. I think I already told you earlier. And I don't have the PC one, I will eventually at some point, but this is, the CSGO is like, even though it's missing out on a lot of, on like, all these updates and shit that PC has that makes it much better, it's just, it, it shouldn't really cost 15 bucks, not because it's bad, I actually like it a lot, but if you're really interested in getting to CSGO, consider the 360 version as kind of like a online demo that never expires. You know, you got a piece of the game of what's much bigger on PC and better. But it's still fun. A lot of communication with teammates. And, you know, you get to enjoy a very different experienced shooter than what you normally play. And this is probably, like, the only shooter that I, I ever played that I will legitimately say as a person who usually plays, you know, FPSs on, like, my Xbox or console in general. This would definitely require a mouse like it's pretty damn tough on a controller i can see why it's more pc oriented fps and how it just gets out of control to, to hit fire and shoot and all that stuff on on a controller on, on the console so you know that's kind of what makes me aside from all the updates and the cool skins and shit you can do on the pc there's a lot of shit it's even mods and all that stuff but um aside from all that is also the feel and control of it so that's pretty much my thoughts on that so maybe I'll, I'll do some gameplay with a friend of mine's mech hype where you know and um yeah we'll see what will be popping in that shit <laughs> time to get our shit but anyways maybe i might talk about some anime in the future too because i just finished samurai shampoo and wow definitely one of my top three animes yeah i love the soundtrack to death because it's by new jabez and a nigga named fat john but anyways y'all get it you have to solve it peace Woo!